junkies out there. We're starting this one a little bit different. We're actually in the line for Cheetah Hunt and Cheetah Hunt is temporarily down for some reason. Uh, but we did get on Iron Quasi and we did get on Cobra's Curse. And now it looks like they're gonna probably run a test run for Cheetah Hunt and we can get on that. Yay. So just stay tuned and Let's go with the flow today, right? Yeah. Good morning, kitty cats. I wish I could tell by looking at their face. They're so pretty. Yep. Let's go. That's our fill for our spotty kitties today. Now they're starting to get some decorations ready for a hollow screen. But uh, Cheetah Hunt, I don't know what's going on with Cheetah Hunt, but Cheetah Hunt is still not open yet. So, it's 11.20. It's Time to head over to some place to get something to eat. Yeah, that'd be our two girls. So continuing with the theme of Hollow Scream, which is just a, you know, just a few weeks away. We have the Vegas Scare Zone over here. Ah, oh, it looks like they put in an ice machine and a telephone booth. I don't know if I would want to stay in this today. They look run down. I can't tell what color we got, but we're going to take a look over here and see if they got this fence up. Not yet. That, that pole and that netting is going to be very close to your feet. So, next one is red. Can't tell what color we had, but the next one is a red one. So, if you're wondering why 
uh, the sky ride is still not running. If you look way back there, you see those poles there, right where uh, Phoenix Rising goes up near the sky ride. Well, they have yet to put some uh, netting up there, and that netting is supposed to help protect the people that are on the sky ride from anything that might fly off of Phoenix Rising. You'll see after the drop, it just flings right over there, right there in that area. So I was told that if I ride Kumba and look to the left, I should see some survey markers where the utilities are or something along those lines. Well, now that Kumba is running, even after it's been hit by lightning a couple of times, well, uh, once, it's back up and running now. So now let's give it a little bit of love. Stand platform. The Bush Flyers is still over there. survey markers out back there but that doesn't necessarily mean anything I did see some what looked like some stakes all the way at the far end but I don't think they were survey markers or had anything to do with the survey markers Nobody's going to squirt us. Oh well. Oh, we might be getting it. Yay! Now my 
much wet. And my feet. And a little bit. How much am I missing? I got you, boy. <laughs> got you good yeah. time. I gotta be cool now. <laughs> got me. Get you good? No, you ain't good. I went drop of water on you. I'm good for you. Get you real good, you and your mommy. Knock that hat off. <laughs> we always know where to go if we really wanted to get real bad. Yeah. In case this doesn't get us as wet as we want. It never does. Unless they have the water flow. Well, we are spinning quite a bit. Oh, I can get you. Basically, behind Debbie, all the hot air is getting wrapped in, getting wrapped in around, and getting us all wet. Uh, I mean, hot and hot. humid. Very. Yeah. I don't know if you see it way back there, but there's a couple of people way back there. I'm not sure what they're doing, but it looks like they're behind the Chick fil A. I don't see any new markers or any changes here. Yeah, I don't see any new markers or anything over here. Now we already checked over there. We still have the work walls over here. The well, question is, what are they doing over there? That looks like Joy. Hey, I think that's Joy. Last week was like apples and oranges. I, I, I swear, last week I, it must have been all the the parents bringing their kids in, getting in their last minute vacations before school starts. Because this week, 
it's like half, not even half of the crowd that was here last week. So I, I don't get it. So I did hear there's open house. I did hear there's some counties that are already opening up and starting school already. So that's good news for us because we don't have to wait in long lines and we won't have to deal with the crowds. But it's not good news for Bush Gardens because without the crowds, they don't make as much money. So if you get a chance, come out here. Get it a little bit crowded, not too crowded, but a little bit crowded. Remember. Yeah. No, the Shikra. <laughs> Just a few clouds, doesn't look like any rain. And then we got the ground. Okay, so we came to almost a complete stop here. Nice little fun dive coaster. Now that Phoenix Rising is all done, and we pretty much got you covered on everything about the Phoenix Rising, and about its construction and everything, uh, what what would you guys like to see? Nothing stupid either. No, no, nothing like that. I mean, what what would you guys like to see more of? Uh, because of course we're, we have no more coverage of the construction unless they start some new construction up but uh, yeah just so if you would go ahead and write down there in the comment section write down what you would like to see a little bit more of what what can we bring to your living room what can we bring into your house what part of bush gardens would you like to see more of So it definitely looks like they have some more Hollow Scream decorations coming up here. And I think this is the uh, Christmas, Christmas tree horror or Christmas tree terror or something like that. So I'm expecting to see a whole bunch of Christmas trees in here pretty soon. That's the only thing I can think of. Sounds about right. Yeah, they'll, they'll have all these Christmas lights up. Yeah. Yeah. And we got those two black birds over there. Yeah. Some kind of stork. Yeah. Not stork. One of those vultures. Like a vulture bird. 
Yeah. And way over there, you have all the lorikeets. We were actually just talking about why we come this way because after Shikra, we can always just go back that way, go back to Pantopia, back to Egypt and ride all those roller coasters because coming this way, we don't have any roller coasters except for maybe Air Grover. But then I just realized if we don't come this way, we don't see the pink chickens. We don't get to see our pink chickens, that's right. Yeah, and look at them. They're still pink and they're still chickening. Got some ducks and some white swans. And... We got crazy nuts up on the panel. We got another crazy nut, Michael over here. We got the crazy nut Cody, who's not actually a ride operator today. He's actually a rider. I'm a test. I'm a test rider today. He's a test rider today. Absolutely. And Christian, we met Christian today. I'm Christopher. That's Christian. Oh, yes. Christian's up there. That's Christian. Sorry. I'm Christian. And I'm Christopher. Christopher. <laughs> and Andrew back there. That's the Oh, there we go. Does he? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah he's a ride right out. And here we go. I'm ready. Woo! Woo! Favorite ride on the planet. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cody touching the wall. Oh. Hi. Is that a thing? Yeah. It's a, it's a tradition. Woo! Okay, I'll have to add that in. We're going slow enough. You're on that side. You guys touch the wall. Best ride ever. Oh, yeah. Over speed, maybe later on today. Maybe yeah. later on. I've never gotten an over speed ride, have you? No. <laughs> Can we? We finally got on Cheetah Hunt, and it's in operation this time. Yay! And here we go. Yeah, let's see what's happening behind us.
Yeah. We are missing you, Skyride. We really want to ride you. So, from what we gather, they are waiting for the netting to be put up around Phoenix Rising. We did see the poles, we did see the cables, but we saw no netting. That was supposed to go up, I believe, last week. But I guess with Debbie and everything else, all this stuff that's been happening, they've been focusing on other things. So hopefully this weekend, they will have that netting up and we will have the sky ride back up and running along with the long track on the train so you want to meet with us yeah it, it, it's just that easy just like that we're here pretty much every single friday mm -hmm. we're here from the time that it opens till yeah three four five o'clock it depends on how we feel for the day but uh, if you see us, come by and say hi. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. We're not animals. We're not monsters. We won't bite. Well, maybe I bite. She nibbles. <laughs> but we're, we're friendly. You can come and say hi to us and maybe catch a ride with us. Like, yeah, like we just did on With Christopher and Andrew there. Yep. So. Stop by, say hi. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't.